and 0. He has been the Red Sox best pitcher so far this year. And Rendon opposite way base hit doesn't miss that great start. Shonawell 0 for his last 18 and here's the next one and that one comes in and it got a piece of his leg it looked like so he's limping on his way to first base hit by the pitch. Mike at 318 he's hit six home runs he's the co home run leader in Major League Baseball with Tyler O'Neill of the Red Sox. And a ground ball to short. Hamilton zips it a high throw and it's bobbled. Reyes can't haul it in a poor throw by Hamilton. And the bases are going to be loaded. And how much more do you have to talk about defensive lapses by the Red Sox and then the moment it's out of your mouth here's another one. And a great opportunity here for Taylor Ward. These are the moments that the Angels have to capitalize on. We saw that at home bases loaded with three walks. You've got to get a couple of these guys home. Ward. That one gets to the second baseman bobbled and they don't get the double play they get one should have been two. The Red Sox for the life of them just can't turn a double play and Aaron Hicks getting an opportunity and, oh, and that gets up through the middle for a base hit that's going to drive it a run two nothing halos. So early trouble for Tanner Houck here he's gone 18 innings scoreless two nothing Angels early in the first and that'll be right by Wong and that'll advance both runners. Here's the pitch home I'm going to chopper hit weakly towards shortstop grabbed by Hamilton the run score. Throw to first for the out. Here's Ren Hefo. He tags that one into center field, racing back. Rafaela runs it down. Nice long running play. So it ends on a defensive highlight, but not many before that. Reed takes the ball here. Third start of the season. He's 2 0, looking to go 3 0 and win three consecutive starts going back to last year. And he's been off to a great start. Counts 0 and 2. Here's the next one. And he swings at that one, lifts it in the air. It's into left field. That is out number one here in the bottom of the first inning. Deadmer's a guy who has thrown a no no in his career. Fires a 1 2. Loop towards center and it'll drop down. He will not throw one tonight. Pablo Reyes dunking down a single. And the Red Sox have their first base runner. Ground ball. Rendon over to second to Renifo to first. An easy double play. And that is how the inning will end. One down for Zach Netho, the shortstop. We're going to pop up first base side. Ball ground. Costas coming over. Another Red Sox dugout with the room. And he dropped it. Oh, he reached out for it. I think. I thought he was closer to the dugout fence than he was, but he had another three feet and he lunged for it and missed it. That's got to be an error. It does. You really need to get Nolan Shawnwell on a roll here. Let's see if that gets through. A diving play made, but it spiked into the turf. Now, that would have been a spectacular play, but I think Pablo had more time than he thought. Rushed the play a little bit. They'll give Shawnwell a hit. Has not been real pretty defensively for the Red Sox. Shawnwell is in scoring position for Brandon Drury. Up the middle. That one's going to get down. They're going to hold up Shawnwell right there, but it skips away. Wow. Shawnwell's going to come home. He is going to score another miscue by the Red Sox. 4 0 Halos. Tonight has been a comedy of errors. And the boos rain down. Angels with a 4 0 lead in the fourth. That's it pretty well. Center field really well. Going back off the top of the wall at center field for Neto. Just missing a home run. He slides in safely for a one out double. Base hit could mean a run. And here's the pitch on Rendon. He swings at that one and grounds it. That's a fair ball. It's by the third baseman. The ball kicks off the side wall. And the Angels are going to have runners at the corners. Sean well, who may be aggressive here and lift something deep enough in the air to get the run home. First and third, one out. Sean well, just what he needed to do. That is it really well. But Rafael, yeah, he plays it off the wall. That's going to be a single only because Rendon had to make sure that he wasn't going to get caught. The way Rafael played it looked like he was going to catch it. But either way, a run comes in 5 nothing. Just the second time through the Red Sox order, heart of the order. That one. In there, got him. Great call. Strike three. Sit down. That was a tight slider there. 86. Nice job by Ohapi there. No doubt. The frame job by Ohapi. Here's Costas. First pitch popped up. Take that all day. Rendon there. Two away in the fourth. The one two. A little ground ball coming in is Neto. A couple of hops. Takes care of Dahlbeck. Four scoreless for Reed Detmers. Hey, Reed Detmers is doing what he's been doing all season long. It's just hanging zeros up. And the pitch, and he chases that elevated fastball. He struck him out swinging. That was 95, and he blew it by him. Another strikeout in the ball game now for Reed Detmers. He's had four, and he's set down the last five Red Sox batters in a row. That's out towards left field. Taylor War, he's just got an eye. He knows how to play that left field here at Fenway. Another 
Clean heading for Reed. Trout's been kind of quiet. He's officially 0 for 3 in the game. And here's the next pitch, and that one's going to drop into very shallow left field. So Trout on a 1-2 delivery gets his first hit of the night. Two-out base runner. Taylor Ward will be the next batter. Taylor Ward hits that one well, well, and way gone! Taylor Ward leaves the yard over the monster. Two-run shot, 7 nothing Angels. What a start to the season Taylor Ward has had. That baseball was crushed. I mentioned you're one out away from looking back, saying six innings, two earned runs. So that is all for Tanner. Outs tonight for Reed Detmers, four via the strikeout, eight ground ball outs, three fly outs. And there's a pitch there that Hamilton tried to hold up on, went around, struck him out. Another strikeout for Reed Detmers. That's five in the game, and he's also now retired the last eight in a row. A four pitch walk to Durant. Mace has already hit the ball on the ground once last time but right at shortstop. In the air but playable. Hicks comes in. He's got it two away. It's a nice little battle. One by Detmers. And another elevated fastball for an out. The 2-2. Two -two. Bounced. Got him. Struck Thielen. him out. Dexter Thielen. Well, it's that competitive nature. You saw Reed Detmer sitting in the dugout. He wants to get back out there. He's thrown the ball well against all of the batters coming up in this inning. Ron Washington giving him that chance. Here's the next delivery, and that's a breaking ball there. And he tied up Casas. Didn't know what to do. Kind of checked the swing, struck him out. And there's one away here in this bottom of the seventh. So seven strikeouts now for Detmers, and Ron Washington has gone out to the mound, and I think that's going to be it. Give it up for Reed Detmers in Boston. A pretty night in the city. Fenway not so much. Seven to nothing Angels. They took control early. They have out hit the Red Sox 12 to three. Going to bring in a new pitcher, Hunter Strickland. And that's right to Luis Redifo. Handcuffed for a bit, but handles that liner from Durant. That's one out, bottom of the night. And here's the pitch, and that is a swing and a foul tip. It's held by Ohapi, and down on strikes goes Reyes. One more out to go. The bullpen trying to preserve this team shutout. Popped up. Logan Ohapi watching. Oh, and he makes the play. It comes right back to him. And Casually. that'll do it. That's the ball game. Angels blank the Red Sox 7 to nothing. Great game, great hitting, but Denver's dealing on the mound and, and the defense. Logan O'Hop because Al Casu make that play there, but the offense too, scoring some runs early, taking advantage of some mistakes by the defense for the Red Sox. And Taylor Ward made a pay for it with a tremendous home run.